I'm here at the Orlando Forum on International Drive to check out the Tunnel of the Damned. It's a new haunt here in Orlando that is made by a couple of Halloween Horror Nights creative veterans. I'm really excited. From this point on, I am in charge of these proceedings. Do I make myself clear? Yes, sir. I said, do I make myself clear? Yes, sir. Six months ago, there was a mass that centered itself over the city of New York. Manhattan specifically. And nothing could get in. Aerial bombardment, buses, trains, boats, walking paths. Didn't matter how you tried to get into New York, you could you were physically repulsed from the barrier. Two weeks ago, unbeknownst to the mass public, um, a portal opened up in what were the westbound lanes of the Lincoln Tunnel. And that's your job is to go in and help the military to try to figure out what to do and how, how to navigate. Face masks need to be worn at all times. This is non-negotiable. We have a very terrifying situation on our hands and I don't need any of you adding to that by taking off your mask and showing me your ugly mug. I have enough nightmares. I don't need any of you to add to it. And if any of you think you're going to defy this rule by whining about your rats, don't try it. Trust me, you don't want to make me angry. Are you fine with all of these instructions? Yes, sir. Excellent. The first eight victims follow me. Let's go. Do not touch anything or anyone. Is that clear? Yes, sir. All right. Step through those doorways. Move it. Let's go. as humanly possible. <laughs> yeah. um, you know, we, we, we found out and, and we, we got a call, you know, to say, hey, would you come help us out with this and to partner with the Orlando Forum of Fear about six weeks ago, about six and a half maybe. Yeah. yeah. Um, that's an extremely fast turnaround, especially with our, you know, usual 13 month rotation that we normally do. In the hot world, that's like super fast. Yeah. Um, so it was, I think it was because we had the expertise for years at Horror Nights that we were able to, right. to communicate as fastly as, as, as fast as we were. Yeah, and I, I know Patrick, up until this year, has a few houses with, with uh, Horror Nights. Uh, I, I've been out of Horror Nights for about four or five years, about five years. Okay, yeah. But I was there 16 years, uh, Bill and Ted show houses, streets. So there's a lot of that that I have 
knowledge of how to throw together a house in a hurry if we need if, if need be. And not not shortcuts, but how to like jam this piece into that piece and, and make a haunt, you know? And, well, and, and, and I think we did that. I think, I think so, we made a haunt. I think we made a haunt. <laughs> I think I think that it's also fortunate because we have been around in the haunt industry long enough to know a lot of people. So we were able to rely upon certain vendors very, very quickly. Yeah. There was yeah. a shorthand with them as well. The design process flew by. Yeah. Normally a design process for Hornets could take weeks. For us, it was a matter of hours. Yeah. Yeah. We literally and knew I, what I we kept saying, to do. Wow. He, he's words on pictures. You know, he, he uh, any kind of theme park, but for sure Halloween, uh, story story comes first. Story, story, story. Right. And then and then what does the story what does it look like? How do I make it look? And and we, we Partnered on that all the way all the way through, yeah. and we bounce stuff off of each other. And there's stuff that didn't make it in here. It's like, nah, I have an idea. No, that's a stupid idea. And you know, moving on. And then, well, yeah, what about this? And one idea leads to another, and it leads to another, and that's what you saw out there. And uh, am I correct in understanding that this haunt is going to change over time as well? Or? It will. About a week and a half from the opening date, uh, we're going to flip it. There's going to be a second phase to the story. So the story that you saw tonight, where it's talking about the mass and then. Obviously, there's a zombie outbreak inside. Uh, don't share that with anybody. Uh, we want to be surprised. Uh, but in the second iteration, that story will evolve. You'll have a different pre-show. You'll have different characters, different costumes, different environments that you're going to be walking through in a different way. And then in the third phase, which is 10 days after that, we're going to flip it again, and we're going to go to a third phase, which is the final act of the story. Yeah, it's a three-act play. Okay. You get first act, come back in 10 days, get second act, come back for the, the grand finale. That's awesome. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, and it's not like we're going to tear everything down and build a whole new one. Right. But we're we again because we, you know, we, we read each other's minds. Like, hey, what if we did this? Yeah, and then we could do that. And then we yeah. could add this. It's more adding, maybe some subtracting, but uh, it's going to feel completely different. All right. I'm not going to tell you how we we manage that, but it's going to feel. Uh, I'm looking different. forward to it. So that was just a little preview of the Tunnel of the Damned. There's also a haunted dinner experience called the Dark Seance. That's going to be a separate price. It all starts October 1st, and you can get your tickets at Eventbrite.